Hey guys, it's Rebecca from Mama Bear Custom Rees and welcome to my channel, Mama Bear Custom Rees, where I make rees and all things home decor and I show you how I do it all. Today, I'm gonna be making a really cute mermaid wreath and I found this mermaid um, wreath form at the Dollar Tree and I thought it was just super cute. So this wreath, um, I'm actually making for my daughter. She is going to have a mermaid birthday party. So I thought that I would make her a mermaid wreath. <laughs> so I went to a fabric store and I found this really cool, you know, it kind of, um, like when the light hits it, it's kind of like a shimmery, foily type material. This was actually in their um, Halloween section for sale. So I just grabbed about two yards of it. Um, I, you really need, you don't need two yards, but I, I'm a hoarder. Hi, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> so I just hoard material. So let's get started, shall we? I am going to take this material, so I don't have to work with all of this, and I'm just gonna cut about what I think I need. I'm gonna go a little bit extra, because I rather have extra. Oh, I didn't need that much, sorry. Okay, so I'm actually going to cut just enough to about here. just so that we don't have all this extra material. Okay, so let's get that. And then um, before we get started, let's get our glue gun warmed up while we're cutting this. Look at this. Funny story, I actually um, sent my husband into the store to get this material. He's never been to a fabric store. And he was like, why would you do that to me? <laughs> why would you send me here? <laughs> I have no idea where to look for things. Everyone stared at me. It was funny. But uh, as I've been trying to get better, he has been taking on a lot of the shopping and stuff for the house, so. Okay. So we cut about this much of our material and basically, I'm gonna put this behind here so you can see the wreath. Basically, I just cut from here, a little bit extra here, and just to have, I cut more than I needed, but I cut enough material so that um, we can glue it to the back. Now, because we're gonna be using glue, I am gonna just use a newspaper to catch all of our glue drippings. We're basically gonna be gluing this to our wreath frame. So let's actually start with our sides here. So we're gonna start gluing this side first, okay? And make sure when it curves, we have enough space. Perfect, okay. So I'm just gonna put hot glue on our wreath frame. Okay, then we're going to place our mermaid fabric above the wreath frame where we put the glue. Now this one's really thick, so depending on what fabric you get, I'm not burning myself because this one's really thick. But I always burn myself. <laughs> so um, they do actually, my daughter bought me these gloves, these little finger gloves so that I don't burn myself so much, but I never put them on. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry just a bit. Okay. 
and then we're going to start gluing the rest of this. I'm actually going to move you form from a bird's eye view so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll be right back. All right, so we've glued this part. Now we are going to start gluing our wires, our inside little wires here. And just pour glue onto our wires. We got to do it quickly because the hot, we don't want the hot glue to melt. I mean, to dry up. And then we're just going to put our weight of our hand over the wires. And you can kind of tell by the warmth. This one, like I said, this material is super, super thick. So I'm thankfully not burning myself in this video. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure it doesn't stick to our newspaper. And we'll catch all the extra glue. We'll take it off later. And then let's just continue doing that. And we're going to do that all the way across. Here, I'm going to start at the bottom part here and just glue this part first. And then I'll work my way up. Okay, so this is what our tail looks like so far. So we're just gonna take our scissors and cut around our wreath frame as closely as we can. So that's the top of our tail. Isn't that cute? Okay. And I found this really pretty um, sequin ribbon and it's reversible. So you see it's pink this way, pink, green, yellow, and then you switch it over and it's silver and then you can switch it back over. I thought that was really cute. So we're going to cut some strips from here to here, which I already have. And we're gonna do the same thing and just, this is so cool. Sorry, I'm playing with it. Um, it's not very wide though. So I'm gonna make sure that I put the ribbon going down here so when you reverse it, it's this way. So they're all the same, facing the same way. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing and cut my strips. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on our tail I forgot to put the paper back on it's okay and then we're 
we're just going to put our claw right over it and then just hold it press down so that it sticks Keep adding some glue up here just to keep it. And then this corner we can cut off. And let's glue that part inside here. We'll make a little bit more. Okay. And then we're gonna glue this securely in here. Oh, I'm loving how this is coming out already. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? Okay. So I'm gonna take this part and just roll it back over here. Flip it over. So now the only part that's missing is right here. So we're just going to add that part. Okay. So Let's put our glue over on the frame. Just align it next to this one. here and then let's just add glue all over here so that it sticks I'm running out of glue okay so we're going to put this part in and this part in sequence ribbon so this is what our wreath looks like so Bar. Isn't that so cute? Let me get rid of all of this um, sequence. So there is going to be a lot of little sequins floating around everywhere. And I found this ribbon in my ribbon stash. It's an old Halloween um, ribbon. 
and I'm going to tie that a couple times around here so that that can be what separates her tail from the rest of her body. So we probably just need about this much. And then I'm going to just put some glue on top of that and cover this part up. Fill a little bit over. Put some glue there. Same thing on this side. And I'll probably do another little loop around it. So now we're going to add this same ribbon to the top portion right here. So let's measure our ribbon. Okay, let's just start putting glue. And we're just going to put glue directly across the top part all the way across. And then quickly put our ribbon on. flip this side over and put some glue on the edge there so we can turn our ribbon. Same thing on this side. So that's our mermaid wreath so far. Look how pretty it's coming out. Look how pretty my mermaid wreath came out. I love it. <laughs> this is actually for my daughter's birthday party. So I'm loving this decor. It matches perfectly. Look at that, look at that tail. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, do me a huge favor, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know where you're watching me from. I am in Texas. If you're in another state or another country, give me a shout out, represent your state. I love seeing where I get viewers from, and if you guys have any questions, want any tips or anything, feel free to leave a comment or message me on all my social media either here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, X, I'm everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.